Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $130,050.93. In the past year, I am up $52,227.36. Year to date, for the year 2024, I am up $35,606.81. Today is a green day for me. During the day, I was up $2,000. $491.40. After hours, I am up $1,161.60. Sorry that the numbers keep changing. Um, you know, it does count overnight hours as well. So um, the, my gains overnight, it's going up and down. But if we round up, my portfolio is $130,000 right now, which is a huge milestone for me. I thought for a while that my portfolio was just going sideways for the longest time during the year and then it made a huge dip in august however since then it's been like a rocket ship it's been going up and up amazing um but yeah i'm at 130k right now which is really nice let's go over my positions for my options i'm selling sofi 11 dollars covered calls these expire november 22nd my total return, I am down $1,920. I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $282. I'm selling Delta Airlines $55 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $820. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $10. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $20. I'm selling Target $145 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $266. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am up 1,800 foot. Sorry. I am up $1,853. I have Verizon $47, $49 covered calls. Sorry. It's uh, $47, $49 uh, call credit spreads sorry I'm, i've been busy doing a lot of things right now and a lot of things are on my mind it's election night so a lot of different things i'm keeping up with and anyways the expiration date is december 20th the total return is 700 dollars. i have disney's 70 dollar calls these expire december 19th 2025 my total return, $4,001. This is a margin account. My margin total is $109,886.15. My margin used is $94,813.07. My options collateral is $10,000. This leaves me with $5,073.08 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $53,069.18. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $10.28. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So big day today, $130,000 finally hit in my portfolio. Um, yeah, I've been doing really good this year. Year to date, 37.91%, so about 38% uh, year to date. Sorry, I was looking at PAL earlier. Um, if we compare this to SPY, year to date returns of SPY, 23.26. So yeah, uh, I've been doing okay. Um, really happy with how things have been going since August. I mean, it's been like straight up since August. After the drop in August 5th, it's been like straight up from there. Amazing. Um, tonight is election night. I've been keeping track of the 
results. So that's what I'm watching right now. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's basically what I'm paying attention to right now. But I just wanted to take a quick minute to make this portfolio update just to show you guys like where my portfolio is right now and what my positions are and what I'm doing. So some notable things here, one of them being Google. I don't know if I spoke about this since my last update, but now I may have a position in Google again. I used to already have a position in Google before, but then, you know, my shares got called away and um, I decided to just do covered calls again on Google. So I have 200 shares of Google and I chose the 170 strike price. Right now it's pretty much at 170. It's at $170.50. So it's pretty much at the money. Um, I'm not too desperate right now to keep it, but we'll see what happens. Who knows? Other than that, I really don't have much else to report other than the fact that I've been, you know, I've been just doing really well. Um, I'll continue to make more portfolio updates just to show you guys how it's performing, what my positions are, but this is pretty much it for now. And hopefully my gains continue until the end of the year. It's November 5th, so there's still some time left in the year. We'll see what happens from now until then. But yeah, a bunch of my positions expire uh, near the end of the year, right? December 20th for most of the expiration dates um, of my options. Other than my SoFi covered call, which is expiring November 22nd. So 20 days from now. No, what am I saying? Uh, sorry. There's so much going on in my head, it's hard to keep track of. Um, 22nd, which is uh, 17 days from now. So we'll see what happens. I do think that there's a chance it could end up above $11, but if it just stays above $11, I'm going to roll them out to a further expiration date, higher strike price. Someone mentioned that, um, you know, I'm losing a lot of money on my covered calls and I'm, that's part of the process. I mean, not everything will be working out the way I intended it to. Sometimes I do end up losing money and it's important to show this because I feel like sometimes I get, get a lot of comments, you know, really eager to like learn how to do covered calls and like, you know, they get excited and stuff. And I think it's important to show the downside of covered calls too. You know, for example, my SoFi covered calls, I'm down $1,920. I'm, I'm down about $2,000 because I did this, these covered calls. If I had not done this, I would be $2,000 richer right now, right? I, I wouldn't be down $2,000 from this position. I would just, uh, you know, be $1,920, $1,920 richer than I am right now. But because I did these covered calls, I'm down $1,920 from these covered calls. So, you know, you got to see the bad with the good as well. I'm, I'm not trying to claim that, you know, covered calls are uh, like a 100% winning strategy. I mean, sometimes you do lose money. Sometimes I lose like several thousand dollars doing these covered calls and I want people to realize that, um, you know, don't get too excited and see that, oh, you know, I'm up like 37% year to date. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that covered calls or the strategy that I'm using right now is always the best strategy, right? I think I made a video before talking about how for most people, honestly, not doing covered calls and just investing in the s p that's gonna work for most people so it's not like i knew ahead of time that i would gain you know 37 percent in one year i i didn't know that ahead of time i'm just doing what i'm doing and i'm showing you guys what the results are and i'm grateful for the fact that i've gained so much this year but it's not like i knew ahead of time what the results would be you know that there's risk taken um and yeah there is a risk when it comes to covered calls and that is if it goes way above your strike price that I that you choose you could end up losing lots of money right I, I'm down around two thousand dollars from this uh, SoFi eleven dollar covered calls and because I chose a strike price of eleven dollars but SoFi is above that it's eleven dollars and fifty three cents right now that's why I'm down so much money if I had just not done the covered call at all I would have more money right now than I would have, uh, you know. So that's the risk you take. Um, 
when you do covered calls, you don't want the stock to go way above your strike price. Because if that happens, you lose out on some money. And this is one example of that. So I want to point that out, you know, don't... I feel like so many people look at this and they have like big eyes like, Oh, you know, I really want to learn covered calls. I want to gain uh, thousands and thousands of dollars per year. Like, okay, but the strategy is not foolproof. You know, it's, it's not 100% winning strategy. Sometimes you lose out on money because you do it this way. But this is the way I choose to do it. Um, and even though sometimes I lose out on money, overall, I'm happy with the results. I mean... 38% year to date. That's that that that's you know that's pretty impressive. Not many people I know can gain 38% in one year. So even though I lost out on several thousand dollars in some of my positions because I did these covered calls, overall I'm still happy with these results. It is what it is. You take the bad with the good, you know. It's not like I go into these covered calls expecting for it to always work out in my favor. Sometimes I lose out on thousands of dollars and I'm willing to accept that risk. I know ahead of time that that's the risk going into it. So it is what it is. Anyways, um, I think I'll just end the video here because I'm rambling on too much, but I do want to point out that, you know, for the people who are not familiar with how covered calls work, but you are desperate to learn, I'm showing you now. There is downsides to it. It is what it is. Anyways, I'm going to keep on looking at the election results um, for today. But that's pretty much it for my portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I will keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.